and welcome to the latest edition of HSN Gets Crafty. I'm Suzanne, and thanks for joining me today. Well, we have kind of a continuation from another project we did in our last show, and it was all about unicorns and going back to school. So for this show, we are actually doing an accompanying Bentigo lunchbox. Yay! So if you've got grandkids or kids and want to make their own really cute little lunchbox, I'm going to show you in this video how to do it. So let's get started. For this project, you're gonna need the Cricut Maker, the Cricut Glitter Vinyl, and our Bentigo Insulated Lunch Bag. In this case, I've downloaded the Cricut app onto my iPad, and we're gonna open up the app, and I've already logged in, so we're gonna go right to my project. So we go up here to Categories, and then I'm gonna hit My Projects in the Cloud. So it can be saved on your iPad, or you can save it in the cloud. And here's my project. I've been working on a lot of stuff, but this is the one that I'm gonna be featuring today. So here at this point, you can see I've worked on the project, and I wanna customize it. So I'm gonna hit the Customize button. I'm creating a series of colored layers. So the base layer with the name Romy is in the white. Then I'm gonna do accents in gold, accents in purple, and accents in black. All right, let's make it. It tells me how many different pieces or mats I have to create. So there's my white base. This is going to be my two unicorns in the black, and that's an outline. There's my gold, and then there's my purple. So all I have to do is hit continue, and then the machine's going to light up, and then we're going to begin cutting. And to speed things up, I've already cut mine out. Let me show you what the project is going to look like. So right here, I've got my Bentigo, and then what I did is a series of layers. The white layer is the solid, and then I'm going to use all this as accents, and then put Romy's name on it. So let's get started. First off, you gotta have a canvas, and this is it. This is gonna be my Bentigo lunch bag. Now, what I'm gonna start with is obviously the bottom layer, which is the white layer. That's gonna be my solid little unicorn and Romy's name. Now, what I'm gonna do with that, though, is I'm gonna actually put her name on last. So I'm gonna take it, I'm just gonna cut it off, and we'll come back to that piece in just a second. So what happens is this is a piece of basically almost like a clear contact paper. And that's gonna help me take my image off of what I've cut off the base and place it onto whatever it is I wanna put it on. And that's obviously the little bag. So what I'm gonna do is you're gonna see, I'm gonna peel this off. There we go. There's my little unicorn, it's so cute, I love it. And this is gonna be the base. So I'm gonna kinda eyeball where it's gonna be placed. So I'm gonna put our little base kind of in the middle, but remember, I've gotta put Romy's name on the top, so I gotta save some room to stick that in there. And then what I like to do is, I like to start on one side, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, it could be a credit card, it could be if you have the scraping tool from the Cricut, and you don't want any air bubbles when you lay this down. You actually wanna try to just smooth it from one end and then slowly lay it down on the other end. Then I like to really go over it because obviously you want this to stay on. And you just pull it along. Sometimes you gotta fiddle with it a little bit, but as you can see, we're laying it down and there we go. Okay, so our next part, and I love this about vinyl because you can layer it, is gonna be the outline of my unicorn. Now see, this is an outline, and I really wanted that because I wanted to make sure we could outline the project. Take your time on this step because you really do wanna make sure it's pretty even with the original design, and it should be. If you created it in your Cricut, in the design space correctly, this should lay perfectly on top of that lower design. And again, you're gonna take this, scrape it down a little bit. And there you go, look how it's all coming together, right? It's getting dimension. I just think it's so fun. All right, now, now we're gonna add some zhuzh to it. We're gonna jazz this up. But I want you to see what I did here. For example, I just used some of the gold. So while I cut out a full little unicorn, I'm only gonna cut and use pieces of it to get the accents on the design. So I did actually cut out full unicorns, but I'm only gonna use a little bit of them. So for example, I would like this whole mane, the horn, and a little bit back into the mane to be gold. Now we're gonna add the other gold parts. You can be so much more creative when you're just taking bits and pieces. So when you're doing this layering project, it's so much fun to be able to take apart the horse or the unicorn and really, really play with it and have some fun with it. There we go. All right, the last piece I'm gonna put on here is gonna be the full tail. Come on, how cool is that? It's all coming together. Now we're up to the pink layer.
Now, I gotta put the eyeball on there, so I'm gonna grab that little piece and I'm gonna stick the eyeball on our little unicorn. I've gotta add a little zhuzh. You gotta have lots of sparkle. So, and you can use these I just grabbed from my house. They're sticky rhinestones, and I think the unicorn deserves to have a rhinestone at the point. I also am just gonna add a little bit of sparkle right here to the eyeball, just because it's so cute. And now I've got to put Romy's name on here because she's my favorite first grader. Just actually put the name down and then we peel it back. And the project's finished. So if you're thinking about doing this project, I think it's really fun. It's really easy to customize virtually anything. And I do thank you for watching. Please like my Suzanne Runyon HSN page. Share all this if you can. I'd love that as well. And thanks so much. Please stay tuned for our next episode of HSN Gets Crafty.